Want to get rid of this background and only keep this element to use in your design? You will find this solution in this video. Hey guys, it's Jerome from Illustrator How. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of background or how to make background transparent in Adobe Illustrator. All right, so there are two very basic ways to get rid of background in Adobe Illustrator. So I will be showing you two examples here. So when you have a very simple image with a simple background, mostly um, you will be using the image trace feature in Adobe Illustrator to remove the background. You can open the image trace panel or you can directly select the image and you will see the image trace option on the properties panel. Quick actions. And you can simply click on that. A lot of options here. You can choose, let's say, if you want it to be really, really similar to the original image, I would choose high fidelity photo. So go ahead and click that. It's going to take a while since it's a large image. So go ahead and click OK. As you can see, it's really, really close to the original image. It actually vectorizes your raster image. And then if you want to get rid of the background, you do need to um, expand the image. As you can see, this is like all editable vectors. So if you want to change the color, you can. Otherwise, if you only want to get rid of a background, go ahead and just um, yeah, expand and then click ungroup. If you're using the older illustrated version, you can find the ungroup option under quick actions. You can also uh, just right click and choose ungroup as well. So once the image is ungroup, well, you can simply select the background and hit the delete key. Well, this part as well. And there you go. Now you only have this chair as the image. So you can go ahead and group them back so that you don't move them by accident. Okay, so once you have only this chair image without any background, you can save it as a um, PNG. So once you have the image that you want to save with a transparent background, go ahead and go to File, Export, Export As, and then choose PNG as a format. Well, change the, the name if you want. So I'm going to just put chair and then click Export. Then here is really, really important if you want to save a transparent background from the preview background color, you can choose transparent and then click OK. Then you will save an image with a transparent background. All right, so this is probably the easiest way to get rid of background, especially when you have a more, let's say, a simple background or a white background. However, I know it's not always the case. Sometimes you do have complicated background. In that case, the image trace probably doesn't work that well. So I'm just going to show you a quick example here. All right, for example, now we have this image. As you can see, the background is quite complicated. Um, I'm just going to show you the result using image trace in this case, using the same image trace setting. All right, so now you get this image trace and um, let's say that you want to do the same to remove the background. I'm just going to click um, expand. All right, and as you can see, it's super, super complicated. So how are we going to remove the background? You can click ungroup just to see how it looks. You can click and drag to select large area of the background where you want to delete. Obviously, yes, you can use this way to um, delete the background. However, it's going to take you more time since you do have to zoom in and then delete the specific parts. If you only select a small part, it's really, really going to take you so much time. All right, so I'm not going to delete all of this. I'm just showing you um, an example of how complicated and inconvenient it is to use the image trace when you have a complicated background. I would recommend you to use uh, a clipping mask. In this case, you do need to use a pen tool. If you are not familiar with a pen tool, I do have a video talking about how the pen tool works as well. Uh, you can find the link in the description below. All right, so I'm going to show you how to just quickly remove the background using the pen tool and clipping mask. 
So I'm going to use the same image here. I'm just going to zoom in quite a lot so that I can trace it pretty well with the pen tool. All right, so go ahead and um, if you want to lock the image, it's fine. Otherwise, uh, you can just leave it as it is. Or if you want to turn the opacity a little bit down so that you can trace or see the line that you trace a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to just yeah turn it down a little bit and select the pen tool from the toolbar and start tracing the image. Uh, swap the fill and stroke. Okay, so I just roughly trace the, the dog and then obviously the line isn't perfect. If there's any part that you want to adjust, you can always use any of the, let's say the editing tools. For example, if you want to make the curve a little bit better, you can use a curvature tool. The direct selection tool is super, super useful as well to adjust any of the lines that you want. All right, so just to show you an example of how it works, you can take your time to um, smooth the lines and such. After tracing the outline of the image that you want to keep, now you will have to um, remove the background, right? So I'm going to go ahead and select the image and turn the opacity back to 100%. And then I'm going to select the path, the pen tool path that I just created, and then select the image. And then there are a couple of ways to make a clipping mask. You can go ahead and right click and choose make clipping mask or you can use the keyboard shortcut command N7 to make a clipping mask. And now you can see that you have um, removed the background. If you want to save the image with a transparent background, go ahead and go to file, export, export as and choose PNG as a format. Okay, if you do find it a little bit confusing or if I'm going too fast in the video, I do have an article talking about how to remove background in Adobe Illustrator and make it transparent. And I also have a course coming up very soon and you will learn a lot more about uh, how to use the pen tool, how to make a clipping mask and how to make background transparent, obviously. All right, so hope you enjoyed this video. Again, remember, if you want to save an image with a transparent background you should choose the file format as png when you save the background and then choose transparent background when you um, do the setting so yeah if you find this video helpful don't forget to give me a thumb up and hit the subscribe channel uh, and subscribe to my channel